And first to the news uh, within the BJP. Sources saying that the Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi could be the, made the chairman of the party's campaign committee very soon and that the BJP President Rajnath Singh is comfortable with this idea. Sources also saying that this is the first step. Modi will be reinstated as a member, parliamentary board of the party, and that Rajnath Singh is discussing Modi's roadmap with the RSS Chief Mohan Bhagwat in Nagpur today. Let's get in a National Bureau Chief uh, Bhupin Chaube for this. Uh, Bhupin, of course, a lot is going for Modi and at the same time there are obvious disadvantages uh, in this uh, uh, proposal as well. Just take us through them. What's really happened over the past one week is that ever since the circumstances in which Rajnath Singh's name was propped up as the candidate for BJP presidency, by and large there is a sense within the BJP now that they need a strong leader to be taking them into the election campaign. With Rahul Gandhi for all practical purposes being appointed as a prime ministerial candidate from the Congress's side, the BJP's own calculation is that a campaign without any face is not going to work in their favour. Which is why there are a lot of senior leaders now who are beginning to seriously look at this possibility of Narendra Modi being given a larger role. If not an official prime ministerial candidate like an LK Advani was in the last looks of elections, then certainly a message to be sent to the party cadre of the BJP right down to the grassroots that if they work hard enough, then Narendra Modi could be propped up as a prime ministerial candidate. But it's not going to be so easy, Fatima, because at the end of the day, you're talking about a leader like Mr. Modi, who suffers from the 2002 taint of the Godhra riots, who is often accused by his own close associates of being extremely dictatorial, and someone who's not really looked at as a person who could carry an entire team along. To complicate matters, his equations with the central leaders of the BJP are also not very, very cordial. But even he realizes that if there is one man who can take the BJP out of the troubled state that the party finds itself in, it is Mr. Modi himself. So, so of course, those are those are very obvious dilemmas for the party at this stage. But really, it's it, it, it's the fact that he has a reputation for a dictatorial style. Also, the fact that you know people uh, allies such as Nitish Kumar are not going to find him acceptable. Those are major issues when it comes to this equation. The BJP's own calculation is that if they do not put a figure like a Narendra Modi who enthuses the party cadres, then they are not going to be in a position in which they will be in any kind of a possibility to form a government on their own. They believe that the only chance they have of reaching around that figure of 180 seats to 200 seats which they had in 1988, 19, uh, 1999 is if Narendra Modi is propped up as a prominent figure. Yes, the likes of Nitish Kumar will walk out. There will be an entire array of regional leaders who will be unwilling to do business with the BJP if Narendra Modi is a prime ministerial candidate. The likes of a Naveen Patnaik in Orissa, Mamta Banerjee in West Bengal. Of course, the likes of a Bolayam Singh Yadav will never do business with the BJP. You've seen Mayavati, BSP leader, who's done business with the BJP in the past, also saying that she cannot be a part of any alliance which has Narendra Modi as its face. That is a dilemma, but the BJP's contention is that the only way they can be in any position whatsoever to form a government right. on their own is to be around a figure of 190-200, which hmm. is possible only under Narendra Modi. All right, uh, Bhupendra Chaube, thanks very much for that quick update on Modi perhaps moving center stage.